Welcome to Softree. I'm Erin, and in just a few minutes, I'll show you how to import an ASCII survey file into our Terrain module. Our Terrain module can read ASCII files in a variety of formats. Import specifications are created to read and parse these files. The import specifications are set up under Module, Setup, and then Import. The default import specifications are saved in the normal.iop file. Import specifications are used to determine file structure, for example, fixed length fields, comma separated, and tab delimited, X, Y, Z position, and other attributes such as point code descriptor, and linear features, symbology, formatting, and properties of incoming points. Here's an excerpt of the file we're going to open. It consists of a sequence number, X, Y, and Z coordinates, as well as a code, separated by tabs. Now let's head into our terrain module where we're going to set up our file to retrieve trainingnormal.iop. Input output parameters contain user definable parameters for reading and writing files. We are going to define a new set of parameters to read our custom survey data. We are going to define the incoming columns and attribute positions. Within the code tab, we can assign properties, symbols, and line types to the incoming points. Now we're going to extract all of the codes found in the survey file. Within the code properties portion of this dialog box, we can make adjustments to the line type, break line, colors, and other attributes of each code. For the purposes of this example, let's just change a few. It is possible to assemble the incoming points into linear features, such as road edges, ditch edges, edge of pavement. There are several methods for detecting features. The most common is to use a point code identifier. For example, all points with the code CL can be identified and connected together to form a centerline feature. The test function allows you to step through the file to determine if fields and features are passed and assembled correctly. Let's just step through a few records to make sure that they're being correctly interpreted. Now, we'll use the import format we've created to open the survey data file. Now, let's take a look at our imported data using one of the different screen layouts. One of our final steps here, we're going to take a look at our survey file if we had gone through the process of defining every single one of the different codes and its attributes. And here's our completed example showing line work and symbology. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks again and be sure to join us for some more.